Hello, and welcome to this video where we're going to create this compositing. So this is our original, and we're going step by step taking to add all these additional elements. Some of these elements, of course, you can find your own and put it in. Some of them will be available if you're my Patreon subscribers. You can go out there and just download it, some of these assets. I also will show where to find them and how to create some of these. So if you're a little bit familiar with 3D, you can find some useful with Dust Studio where you can create some of those wings or some other elements. But overall, this is just work process to showing how you can take a different application, different resources, and combine them together to create something surrealistic um, cosplay image. So I'll go ahead and start working on this. Let's go ahead and start working. And I'm going through all steps. Some of the steps maybe you cannot reproduce. Um, that is okay because assets will be available for my for the Patreon down, upload, wherever downloaded. So if you need it, you can go to the Patreon website, sign up and download this assets. Otherwise, you can just follow steps as you want. Um, overall, I just want to show you workflow, how I done with this, with that piece. So right here, example, it's image I'm going to use from Photoshoot. Again, um, if you Patreon, you can download it and use it, or you can find something similar, maybe your photo shoot on stock photos, whatever you want it. So this is will be our image. And I'm going to just going to open this image and by default it will open in camera raw. And that image was shot in a Canon 5D Mark III, if I'm right. It's a little bit older image I shot maybe a couple years ago. And nice things about sometimes you're going to new photo shoot a lot and uh, you just save them and come back after a few times, look differently, or you learn new techniques and you want to apply it. And it's a very good way. Just keep it in your library, keep it those images. So you will notice what are we doing right here? We'll go our highlights, we'll bring down. Usually I just want to turn down and want kind of flat and I will bring back in stuff that I wanted. And you'll notice right here, just a skin will bring a little bit up on a hand. We'll do this hand modify a little bit to create more like a bone kind of look. And overall, this cosplay is based on the um, some uh, comic books death effect, if I'm right. So I also will be sure we enable a chromatic abbreviation and use a profile. So let's go ahead. Before I actually click OK, I just want to also point to you that I'm going, I'm working with 16 bit depth. Um, and I'm using Adobe RGB, no specific reason for Adobe RGB. I'm just using this color space on my camera everywhere. So I just want to keep it kind of similar to this. Okay, when we're done, we'll go ahead and open this image inside the Photoshop. So here's what I want to do. I want to add wings. I want to add something post-apocalyptic on a background. So we're going to use it some of the problem overlay of the clouds for this will go overlay multiple things uh, before do this let's go just to fix couple stuff so i'm going to select tool and this is our patch tool i'll just take this top one select and drag drop down notice i'm doing on a background layer and i know you maybe says it's destructive non-destructive you know what some of these elements i just do want to destruct them doesn't matter what because that does not look good. So just selecting like this. Okay, next I want expand. For this, we'll go ahead and select our um, cropping tool. And I want to be sure the content aware is selected. So let's go ahead, zoom a little bit out, and we'll adjust. Don't adjust too big. I will adjust in increments. So I will adjust just a little bit like this, a little bit more, and a little bit up. Press Enter. And when it's applied, what's happening, Photoshop will look around. If we're going too far away, Photoshop will take some of this purple and put it on the sides. I don't want necessarily to do this. And I will expand a little bit more again. So it's kind of read around this area. I allowed the Photoshop AI to actually get a good job. And just go like this. Okay, click again. Enter. It's again, will process. I'll just increase the size, add canvas, but I want to keep it with the same coloring. It would be kind of overlay, but it still be pre present some of the texturing. And it's very good if we have consistency in this texturing as well. And I'll just go a little bit up here, a little bit more. 
and again increase just slightly notice because we're doing this it's kind of nicely going and i'm looking on increase of right this element like right here so this is on the middle it's my point yeah, i think this is about right let's go click one more time and i think we kind of ready for this the next things where do we getting wings where we have all where we're getting all of those assets so as a wing what's happening i will use a dust studio and it does studio if you're going on a dust 3d okay so like right here you can download it for free actually it's a very nice 3d render application so you can create pause whatever you like it but also um you can go inside and let's go search for the wings and we can find they have the multiple different type and style of the wings you can have the one what i found it's a feathering wings it's actually right there this one and overall just let you know uh never buy for full price okay because if you're going to check they often have it on sale you also can have it coupons or other things and uh, i was lucky enough by around christmas time so there was quite a bit sale on this and that's how i pre-built my collection but you can notice this is actually very good um wings and the only one thing I found, the problem is sometimes texturing right here repeating. So you can definitely see. But that could be a very easy fix. The benefits about using 3D wings, and I was considered actually, I was considered to build my own with the feathering and everything. But it's much easier. You uh, don't have mess, you don't need drag with them. And beside that, on the swings, you can reposition, pause, lighting, so you can have everything to do. And it's much easier to work with cg however it will require some of this knowledge you need to do and you can see all those different wings they're actually folding very nice so this is wings it's what we're going to use if you don't know application if you don't have it or don't purchase again uh, become my patreon support and you will have this assets with multiple different wings and angles downloaded so you can use it this uh, royalty free wherever you want it there let's go back in our does and you can see right here we have this also wings and let's go just preload one we'll just double click and here's our wings um for that character actually i want to use it them probably darker so we'll download the dark wings and you know what let me do this way let's delete it okay we need to apply and i think i want our array i don't want it um and we have it two options if you're not familiar with the does they have a different type of the render engine gliding uh, overall 3d light and array two most popular array is a little bit newer one so it's actually work a little bit better and it's actually what i wanted i want to apply this and here is our dark material to modify and positioning of the swings it's actually a little bit easy you just select segment and you can okay let's go look around right there we can select and notice in 3d you can actually rotate so we can bring them up we can bring this one a little bit down there you go so we can rotate we can position we can adjust them as we want it um one thing what i would do to come in and i don't want to say going very much in details on this because i already pre-done those wings i will just download them but I want just overview how it's done. So you create the wings, you put the position of them. Um, best way you want to match lighting. And for example, I know in my photo where the lighting was located. So if we look back in our image, you can see lighting located from kind of side of front from this area. So in this case, we can go inside, create a spotlight. Okay, we can also very easy just go and select. Let's go select our spotlight and we'll just uh, okay where's our wings oh there is our wings we can look down uh, okay let's zoom out a little bit i lost i think i lost my wings again yeah right there so so i'll go up look on my wings and you can see i'm kind of like positioning where the light come from so we can do right there so for example this is where was my light located uh, we can zoom a little bit even more in 
position. Okay, next, of course, we're going to create a camera. Let's go create new camera, switch. And with a camera, we can kind of match. Again, you can always go back to your image and say, okay, it's a straight forward, but a knee level where it's located. So, and if we have it wings here, we can take our camera, position around like a knee level. Again, understand I not yet all the way set my wings, but overall, this is idea. You set up your camera, you set up your lights, which is matching what you have before. And you're just going inside your render settings. And you can start writing from here. One thing that I need to point, dimension. Usually I do high, so at least 8,000 pixels by 450. It's whatever adjustment. You can adjust a different expect ratio for this. But overall, so we render high resolution wings with the proper lining and we'll save this image. So this is how we create those um wings and uh, again if you lights is different just take different spotlight put on different if you have a position spotlight on a back other ones was maybe on different areas you can always add additional lighting to match exactly the same environment as you was for the shooting okay and when we save we can save as different format i save as psd with transparency which automatically applied so i make my life much much easy so in this case here's the wings I'll just drag and drop with them here and there is about so I'm going to increase size of the wings just to about match maybe around this area like this and we'll put it in um, notice the wings still be there the all the way what I want to do I want to actually separate them make different and like I like this wing better than this so we can just also use it just one wing if we need it Let's do this way. Let's go actually select this wing right there. And we'll go into select uh, control I. Let's go. And we'll go create mask. So this is one of our wing. Control Command J to duplicate, edit, transform, flip horizontally. Okay, so now we have two wings. Okay. And that way we can actually easily take two wings and position how we want it. I notice the maybe notice the stick out a little bit off. If you want to put it them down, we can always go ahead and so right click and let's go to rasterize them. I know it's horrible things to do rasterization, but and let's apply Oops, actually right here I need to click, apply layer mask. So just one wing here. The reason why I'm doing, I want to actually bend even more of them. So for example, control T, I'll bring them a little bit down, like right there. Um, let's go again. We'll just shift and we'll just a little bit shrink down, maybe about right here. There's a wing and we're going to edit transform actually you know what's go puppet warp it's what i want to do so we'll hold it one point on the top creating okay we'll create one point around here okay right there we'll go bring one on the bottom and one around here so we can actually just take a little bit slightly bend kind of so it's look just a little bit um like right there okay when we're done press enter just change a little bit shape of these wings i'm going to hide my two wings just in case i need it duplicate this again and edit transform flip horizontally okay so what i did it i created my two wings left and right and i notice the backdrop maybe a little bit too small so let's expand so we'll go click our backdrop and we'll go to expand again delete um, make sure our content aware notice it's not enabled the reason why we need to hide those two 
I don't know, sometimes actually I notice new Photoshop, it's a little bit funny acting at all. Okay, like it does not, for example, does not want to do sometimes stuff or it is um, acting kind of very weird in some cases. So we'll do that. Okay, we unlock. Let's do this. Unlock layer. It's probably what it was. We'll go expand quite a bit more two ways as well. And let's bring higher here. Okay, let's go click OK. That should increase canvas size for our image. And as soon as we're done, we we'll can re-enable our wings and see if they will fit in. Again, this is very uh, creative in a way you can do how you like it, okay? Because maybe we don't need to go straight like this. On that case, we can go edit, transform, and let's go do actual puppet warp. And for example, if this was too much, we can always take and bring just a little bit down, like right there, okay? And let's go create, edit, Puppet Warp on that as well. We'll just add a few points. Okay, and bring this one kind of down as well. So we can play a little bit more, but point is this, we're creating our wings. We'll put them on ours. And again, this is up to um, your creativity, how you like it. Ignore the upfront because we're going to blend them in. So next, let's go put it some of the sky. And uh, sky image, um, I purchased from other areas, but you also can just go online and you can find plenty of free sky images. I have it in my own collection. Again, I will share with you if you want to use it, but just look for the free cloud sky or go outside. And if you find some nice images, you can always just use it them as well. I say I got this library and I do like it. So I'm going to use the image from the collection. And this is, I think, from Deal Jumbo was this one. So we'll just select one. Notice I have it light just behind. I want kind of like reddish, almost light going this way. Um, we can bring something to put it on the back, on the bottom. And let's go just find some other images. We can just bring another cloud like this. Select it about same size, maybe a little bit bigger. Control, let's rotate and we'll put it down below. So here's our two images. Let's blend them together. Blend it will just create alt and we'll create mask on one. Take our brush, be sure it's set 10% opacity, flow 10. And we'll just start slightly brushing in. Actually, let's go 100% on the bottom. So we'll go faster a little bit right here. And as we're approaching top, we want, let's 30%. So we want just a blending little bit in, kind of like this. And I can play a little bit more with this settings, how you like it. But overall, what I'm doing is just blend this backdrop. Okay, I think I see some small hairline right on the side. So we'll select, and there you go. We adjust it. Let's take two of those, group them. We'll call it sky, okay. And at this point, we'll also hold an alt or option and click on a mask. So it will create an white arrow sky. We'll put just under wings. Again, take our brush, white color, 10%. And we can start kind of painting in. This is slightly compositing. Let's go closer to our face right there. Select. And I'll just go slightly ar around. And nice things you can see. I'm just going a little bit over. And I know I'm creating transparency. But with the lighting, it's creating a very nice light spill. So it will make it blend even better with this light spill almost with color overlay let's make it a very good look on this okay i don't want to go all the way down we're probably going to create something maybe um 
desert is something more destruction on the bottom but okay right here we create it a little bit closer right there a little bit dark so let's go bring a little bit to the edges there you go okay a little bit to the edges we'll zoom out so we'll go create bring a little bit more in and here's a come up sometimes you look and it says well i still have those lines how i can match them um matching is not that hard we need just alt and click on option on the mask you can see mask here let's zoom in we'll have it our pen tool we'll just click on this bright area now we have it same gray color it's meaning same transparency and with transparency maybe say it's 50 percent you can see we can match exactly the same level of transparency and remove some of those black elements that we have at lines so we can match that level of transparency okay let's go zoom out we'll set 20 percent right now kind of in and we can little bit add again i don't want to necessarily create too much but it will create a little bit smoother nice option again you not always can disable some of those lines for this you can do filter blur go to blur and we'll can pop up just maybe about i think maybe about 30 just to smooth some of those internal lights let's go click alt option and here we have a little bit better blending okay let's go to set 10 percent and add some back to our backdrop clouds of course we'll modify we'll add something more but this is will give it us a nice start on a backdrop okay and sometimes what's happening because i'm going closer you can see clouds coming through this and we'll go fix this by reversing to our black color x black color let's go set 40 percent and we'll just paint back in right those elements so when we don't need it have this high spill or overlay when we come up okay zoom out okay let's go bring in right to the shoulder there you go okay so this is a somewhat overlay we'll add more stuff we'll create kind of better blending but let's give it us at this point idea how it's going uh, we have it our model here but i want to enhance bring a little bit more outline and best way to do for this it is with the dodge and burn usually we probably create full process with retouching everything but because how's the outfit going can uh, make up and everything we don't need to do this so for that we'll create a new layer and we'll go this this layer fill up with 50 percent gray let's hide our sky for now and switch to soft light soft light it's contrast based mode so 50 percent it's invisible for um creating for the control z um for photoshop and we're going to start painting black color should give it us a little bit more enhance i'll just go to add elements and you can see i'm just adding darker to the side you can switch to the bright and we'll add more highlights on the knuckles Okay, kind of create almost think about it's like a bones so we're creating effect on the knuckles a little bit more okay maybe add a little bit lines going here i using x key to create to the black Okay, there you go you can see how darker again it was this hand you can preview before and after so we kind of make it look a little bit more like bones okay same things we can hide some element and again black and white these highlights it's what give it us shape and we kind of creating our own custom shape on this the next i also dress one enhance a little bit better so we'll enhance some of those um, darker 
elements and also switch to white and enhance a little bit of the white. Just creating nice hanging to our dress. Again, X to white. I'll just bring this white up. I'm doing this with the mouse, not uh, with the Vicom pen. You can, if you have a Vicom pen, it will be maybe make easy for you. Personally, I used most time the mouse for everything. Because of that, my um, softness and flow on a brush, it's set so I can use it multiple times. So I cannot just go just once. I drag several times to achieve. But again, you can, if you use it, I compare and if you have a reason why, uh, question why I'm using just mouth because I work a lot with 3d graphics and the problem is Vicom pen not necessarily very useful in many of those instances actually kind of a little bit hard sometimes even work with a Vicom pen because it's not necessarily supported but it's uh, with mouse you get used to so you'll be surprised how well you can work with any tool if you put it enough effort to practice and learn to work with this. Okay, I think kind of look right there. Let's go zoom out. Just add a little bit more darker to these areas. And one nice thing is because we're doing on this level, you can always come back and fix some of this if you don't like how they look. Okay, let's hide her stomach a little bit more. Darker run shoulder here okay just lights right there okay i think and let's go to on eyes and i know we do this but we'll just bring a little bit more eyes out we'll do we'll contrast we got options we can also just overlay make eyes gloss i don't know but we'll see but right now i just want to bring them a little bit off up okay so right here we have the before and after just a little bit enhancing elements. Uh, let's go now work. We have it our um, backdrop. And here we have it our two wings. Okay, we'll go just uh, click. Let's go expand, enable, enable. There's our wings. We'll create a mask for them. And let's go take with this mask and i am just going hmm, you know what maybe just bring a little bit higher so let's go a little bit over go right there actually yeah i think that will work so we'll just go and with the mask kind of roughly actually let's go zero so we'll have 100 percent just on the middle be sure we remove it and just don't worry about edges too much we'll clean up them i'm just want to right there Kind of create this let's go zoom in now we can take our 10 percent x to white and we can start bringing back this notice we have it if we lost some areas we can clean up very fast but overall we just want to go around and paint back in our wings like right there okay here's the thing sometimes what's happening wings maybe got too over and if you don't like it how they look we can do one easy way we can actually select um, pen tool and we can go with a pen tool by the edge here okay our clothes okay let's zoom out I'll just go around like that right there 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 click here let's go back on another shoulder and we'll just go by the shoulder because sometimes you can see blending get too crazy okay and we don't want that So we'll just go right there. OK, 
Okay, go again around the wings. Okay, well done. Right click and create vector mask. So uh, what is does what is happening now? You can see the edge is sharp. So if we go back and we'll set 10% opacity, 100%. We can just go like this, and there we have a little bit more into this. Um, this is a little bit easy. Same way, if we wanted actually, instead sky, we could do hard edge as well around the person, so we can create a better mask. And probably it's what I usually do. I probably will use a pen because it's no hair. It's very easy to apply but i think that will work just fine what we have here okay, let's go to x1 and right here i just want to reduce some of the sky because they are covered by wings and i just want to restore some of this because we won't have it necessarily glowing from that like right there so we have it nice glowing here but with the wings we don't have it okay you can see it's already start kind of what blending in it will require a bit more work for that. Um, on our wings also, as they're together, I want to apply additional mask. Um, small trick, what we can do, we can again group those wings together. Okay, and we can apply another mask. And reason why I want raster mask for this, I want to add somewhat slightly transparency to my wings here. So we have it one black and this is will help create like almost the somewhat transparent some lights coming through there those wings so seem like maybe on the edge a little bit transparency make them blend nicer because feather they are translucent to the light and that's what we're going to do we're making this slightly translucent okay kind of apply to this okay so let's go ahead and add something more interesting drama to this uh, one thing I want to add, like destroy planet. Um, one place where I found it's actually very useful to take. It is from Envanto Elements. And you can see I'm just going in 3D planet and you can find some nice, um, like a moon destroying. It's what we're going to use. Uh, just example, uh, nice to use about 3D. That example, we can select some planet like this. Okay, click on view render. Okay, it's render 3D. And already as when I render in 3D, we can actually rotate. So I can select what area I want it to use it. And we we'll can save as PNG, which is actually also provide for us transparency. Um, I'm, how say, I'm not affiliated with this. I'm just using the service, which is actually, I think it's a very reasonable price and unlimited downloads with a lot of assets. It's good another resources but you don't necessarily need to do this i have it also my own planet that i created in photoshop and they are again they're available in the pack for patrons and i have videos how to do this so again you don't need purchase you can just watch the two videos follow up and use it those um, elements and for this what we're going to do is just use it one of the asteroids 3d render Okay, I'm just going to scale up. Let's go rotate so we'll have it more red under. It's almost like post-apocalyptic. Increase, put it just maybe like behind. So we can see the line. When I'm going ge geometry, we can see wings going like this. You see how they're going and it's like reside between. So I think about that area. Okay, let's go click OK. Drag this and put it maybe above sky oops control z i don't need the inside the sky we'll put it above the sky just but in the wings so next we're going it is again alt or option click on the mask so it's hide it we'll take our brush and we'll start brushing in with a white color and here's what we're going to do because how the atmosphere working as we're going down it get less and less visible but i think on the top it's getting a little bit more visible and we'll soften edges in a second so right here let's soft these edges 
and also on a sky let's just bring those edges up brighter okay and um, you know what maybe we can even add a little bit more post apocalyptic sky to run there okay here x1 Just darken a little bit here and bringing again. Look, because we have a problem with the face, I do like the glowing, but we don't need so strong. So, we'll just again, just like you know, leave it a little bit slight spill going around, but not as much. There you go. Okay, let's zoom out so we have it nice going. We'll maybe add a little bit more stuff around this area just to create kind of um, effect. Glowing, maybe something explosion. We'll see what's going on with this. Um, so those ones is done. We could add some additional elements to this. And here's the elements, same things. We can blend it. So for example, or we can bring like a twig kind of post-apocalyptic but if we put behind like this it may look like russian soviet star which doesn't still be apocalyptic but i don't want to use it or we can do this christmas star which i think maybe actually can be more ironical and some clay it's not necessary it's from christmas tree but it may work i just like some of those elements going yeah let's go zoom out we'll create even bigger like right there click enter to lock we'll go take position somewhere like right there maybe okay again create new mask to hide take brush and i'm not necessarily will go use this but it's maybe nice to just to try and see okay we'll go add like around there and just a little bit there you go so something like this now nah, maybe not does not look good so we'll just delete it let's go delete that we don't need it we do want to add a little bit more some glowing effect around there and we can do those with the brushes uh, let's work a little bit more work a little bit more on the sky itself Okay, and uh, for that one, let me find skies. Okay, and sometimes it's kind of funny, maybe look like I'm pausing. I'm just looking on my another screen, just searching through different assets that I have of the skies that may work for us. And I think this one may work, it work kind of right around there. What I want to do is just bring and render on the background so like right here okay we'll go alt take this one brush one on a white and just like this just blending in slightly more okay as we're doing this let's go switch to blending more to soft light we have an overlay for the color, so soft light, soft light may work better. And you can see, just add slightly more of glowing, maybe like a little bit higher, like around there. We do have a line going from our image, and this one is fixable with a mask. So black mask, and we can just let's go 20 percent and we'll just take this edge and start blending in so i just want to add slightly more details to um this area so it's a little bit more interesting going on okay let's go back here kind of like creating again 
vertical on ink there around. Again, I step in on that area so we can go erase or actually mask in. But the glowing look overall okay. Um, we could apply to the wings as well. And I notice um, an our wings right here, just a little bit on the edges. Just add a little bit more glowing. And this glowing will help us to kind of sell in that hot apocalyptic look slightly. So it's kind of like a blend in. Okay, so let's go ahead and now we can look for something to put it a little bit more on the ground. And I have it also this image. And this is from again Envanto Elements. And I'm just going to use as um, drop. So we'll just put it in, expand. Then next I want to go edit, transform, and we're going to use um, distortion because to make it look a little bit more perspective, we want to take this two edges in split, well, stretch. So it will look a little bit more distorted in both ways. Okay, let's go take, uh, we can put this below, like around here, doesn't matter but like just below wings because we need wings and same we'll hide our mask take a brush white 10 percent and we can start kind of like brushing in a little bit we don't need too much and other things also we can switch this to soft light so it will just add a little bit more this texturing but still preserving somewhat elements and that way may work a little bit better, but it will create this apocalyptic kind of ground almost going. Okay, so we add elements. Let's um, now add a few of the ov overall tonal adjustments for that. We'll create new layer and we'll fill up with 50% gray. Okay, it's our global dodge and burn will be in this case. We'll go again, switch to soft light, and we'll go and use it two brushes. We'll use it black, and we'll use it white. And black won't help us to create the shadows on the ground. Just kind of more overall on the wings. Put it down a little bit on the edges. You know, just hide a little bit right there. And again, we can switch this to the white. And just overall white, we'll just add a little bit glowing around this area. Just make like a fiery glow. Okay. Okay, let's go again to the black. And you can do this as many times as you want it. Our goal is just creating kind of this look going more dramatic, more post-apocalyptic look. Okay, so let's go create a new layer. And this is layer will be um, dust and some rocks we'll go create. So for that one, we'll use it brushes. And let's go just uh, right click. What I'm going to do, I'm using the da, um, Ron dust particles with my powder. So I'm using this one. Um, this one is purchased from Dust3D. You have a very nice library. And if you like it, you can find free brushes. I just like use it. I like quality, what the specific artist producing of these brushes. So I'm using in most of my works, um, the brushes that he created. So on it right here, we have a powder and I'm just looking for kind of powder that I think this one will work. So you can see it's kind of like spread around. So we can go 100%. And instead of using black, I'm just selecting right here in a dark blacker one. And we'll switch to multiply mode. So notice what's happening. When I add, it's add a little bit of those dust. And that's what I needed. I want to create this kind of green genie almost effect coming. So let's go select reddish color and notice it was multiply it also will pass some of this effect of them coloring 
So we can select different color again, add more, and I'm just adding all of these dust particles. Kind of, you know, going, we can go create a little bit bigger size. Let's add a little bit more. Okay, like going up. Okay, next we created one more layer. We'll select kind of reddish orange, whatever was in a color right here. Now you just use the Alt key, select. We'll switch this to, we can go a soft light. And if we click on soft light, you can see it's add a little bit glowing, or you can go to with a screen if you need brighter. But what's happening, I want to do, it's almost fiery, you know, those ashes when they're going around. So we can just, let's create kind of like this, maybe not, maybe, you know, a little bit reddishy. And let's decrease in size. We're just going to create like this. I'm not necessarily like how intense they are, but I'm going to fix this in a second. So because we use a screen, we can always use it with overlay. And overlay should give it us a little bit, but not as much. Hard to see, actually, almost. Let's go see what we have. We have it soft light. We'll have it same with a little bit effect. Soft light, we probably need to do them with a white color. And we have it lighting. Lighting or actually about linear lights will do work as well. And nice things about new Photoshop, you can see as we're going above, we can preview what is going on. So let's go with the lighten and we'll just take it down for now. Just a little bit increase. So it'd still be there, but it's not as obvious like that. Okay, just to create, you know, a little bit of this noise of the post-apocalyptic, like almost dark dirt coming from all this dust floating around. Okay, let's go sparks on this one. Okay, we can add a little bit other effect sparks, but I think this work. Um, I think we need to add some smoke. So for the smoke, we'll do same things. We'll create one. Let's zoom out and we can create two different type of smoke. One, it will be black and another one, it obviously will be brighter light. So we'll do same. I have the bright uh, brushes. We'll go to the smoke effect and i don't know if this one it's working but we can try um actually we'll come back to the smoke fog it's what i want to use it so i'll create fog yeah zero percent black and you can see let's switch to multiply mode again we want to use it for that i'm just going add a little bit like right there Let's create a few of those. Let's go take a different one. Again, increase in sizes. Okay, I don't know if wings still be a little bit bright. So let's go on the wings. We'll add a curve to the wings. Uh, Alt or Option. Lock so they come together. Switch to Luminosity mode. And on the wings, actually, I want to bring them darker. I don't want them. I think there was a little bit too bright. So we'll just add contrast and we'll make them darker. I think that will look better. Um, if it's too much in the black, we can always just bring them flatten. But I think the black will be fine. Yeah, that way they just matching a little bit better. I think it was too bright like this. I, think I like a little bit darker. So we'll do this way. And you know what? Let's do kind of more interesting things on a wing so we have it smoke wings okay so we'll go right here we'll go black color we'll use our brush and we'll go and select accent fog smoke and we'll just use all this different type of smoke just to add around our wings so let's go play different ones like this you know almost look like a smoke coming out of the wings itself and sometimes we need to just take a little bit try kind of you know apply it no nope, that one does not work yeah that one will work let's go down a little bit smaller 
And don't worry if they don't match too much because we're going to use a soft light on this and we'll use the additional blending modes. Um, they have two different type of the smokes, so we can kind of play with the different ones, see which one work a little bit better. Overall, I'll add a little bit around there, just, you know, give it this effect like it is. No, I don't like, I think I like better second session of the smokes that look more interesting. Yeah, I like this one. Okay. So yeah, we can add a little bit more, almost look like a smoke coming out of the person. Okay, let's go select this one. Yeah, that one look way better. Okay, and this perfectly go right there on the side. Just add additional details. And the, with this, we can actually create kind of a lot of, lot of different fun overlays. Right there on the wings, maybe a little bit smaller around. We can always also just take, if you like some smog, but it does not work very well. Okay, so my creative cloud stuff pop up. Okay, let's kill this one. Um, we can also just go inside and find smoke that we like it, like this example. We'll go inside the brush tool and shape dynamics. We'll just say, hey, let's play with the size. Uh, let's apply angle jangling randomness. So in this case, when we're doing it's like, you know, just add a little bit more randomness and rotation. So we can create a little bit more like almost smoke rising by playing around. Okay, right there, maybe just a little bit around her. Okay, there you go. Let's increase size and just create somewhat effect again remember you always have control over with your opacity so if you think it's too strong it will reduce but it's nice to add these additional details let's create a new layer um let's go call it white fog we want just overlay just as effect and again you can use it See what we have, we have this brush. We can, again, use the same brush that we just created. We can just add something more around areas. Okay, don't worry that it's too bright. Remember, we'll control it, but it just give it us very nice shapes. Control and when it's done, let's go switch to soft light. Okay, and take it a little bit down. So just increase again. This is kind of layering. We're layering all these chaotic things that happen. Okay, so let's go back now. Here we'll go select again on a white, select fog, and we can play a little bit more with the fog on the different um, coloring. So I think this one, yep, let's go use this one. So we'll just add a little bit more like around this area. Kind of this way it's help us blending in. Again, we can select just yellow also color, just more coloring. Select a little bit reddish color. Just select this colors from scene that we have it. It's help us to blend with same coloring. Okay, and we can select a little bit bluish, like right there. Okay, we can select reddish, add to the side, yellowish. -y. It's just a let help, help us kind of blend all of this image together. Okay, let's zoom out. If it's too strong or messy, remember we always can just decrease, bring a little bit back up. Let's go create one more um, dodge and burn on a global level. We'll go to 
fill up 50% gray, soft light, take our brush, be sure it is black and white set, we'll go soft round, 10% and we'll just uh, add a little bit more vignetting and a little bit more glowing to the middle, almost like, you know, creating post-apocalyptic look a little bit more. Okay, so at this point we can add more details if you want it. It's kind of keep on doing the more layers. Sometimes you're putting it can create more, but don't just overdo. Control Shift Alt E key to combine all of them together. Okay. Um, and one thing what I notice and just one point to you. So if I go in and says, hey, let's go ahead and save this. Okay, and we'll go say save. What's happening sometimes it's saved, but in many cases it just come up with this error. It says cannot save because program error. Um, it start happening to me with the latest update. So what I find out if you just take all of these images and you just take and hide, leave it just one first level layer and you just save just like this. Let's go click OK. That is actually will save. So from now that point and stick a little bit time if we're going again enable everything okay we'll just all layers and when it's finished saving now we can save it so for some reason it's create this weird error and it's same things happening if we try it just to also control command e request it's something going weird with the photoshop so i found out it does have to work around how you can save it by hiding some of those layers but just uh, let you know if you run in this problem hide your layers and okay so we saw some you know bugs inside the photoshop and one thing i can tell you almost any application will have problems and as a creator sometimes we just need to work around them and uh, submit what we found to developers make sure they work for example if right here and we're going to re-enable all these layers and we'll have it another problem i think so let's go right there and we'll say, hey, I want to go and create Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E. We'll try to create brand new. And there you go. Now we can create it. If you have, the, again, that problem, try to save sometimes what's happening layers. Like in this case, if I'm right, we can create it because our one of the special layer is disabled. And... Um, I think it's our moon which is gone so let's go ahead undo that moon so I'll bring back in okay right there see our moon and if we re-enable back that moon I think we may have a problem again with Photoshop so like right there, let's go Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E. Yep, we have it a problem. So and if you have it, it's probably something to do with the um, smart object, whatever created. We can have several options, and if you want to continue working this way, first off, you can always go ahead and rasterize this layer, and many times that will happen. I don't know why, but Photoshop may have a problem with uh, smart objects. Okay, or you can try different ways. How say this is specific just one layer for some reason Photoshop have it problems because see we can create this way easy. Okay, and control shift alt E, but if we re-enable this specific layer, we can go in and it's have some problems. So for some reason it just does not like this. We can create um, several ways we can minimize by adding mask by um, merging together some stuff but i don't know for some reason it does have this little bit problem so what i'm going to do i'm going to little bit trick the photoshop in this way we're going to take this layer move it out and re-import it again okay so what are we going to do to fix this problem and I, it's maybe related something to memory corruption or something you know we can guessing so far this things what to do it's sent to developers but we need to work around this problem and it's actually a very good example so right here is our asteroids we open png file i'm going to just drag and drop put it in the same place and the interesting things about this 
we'll just uh, let's re-enable our original we'll take this one control command t we'll just scale oops actually i want to scale to make it about same size but yeah we need rotate also like right there i think we'll put it around here about same size i think this is close about like right there okay we'll put it in okay now let's, let's go take mask the drop and drag here we'll delete this layer okay and we'll go up and now we can see creating new layer so it, it is look exactly the same layer it is does all that stuff but something that's possibly something to do with corruption and memory maybe temporary file i don't know uh, on this but my point is this if you have a problem don't just give up okay you have a several solutions you can work around you can resolve the problems but you can continue focusing on your art so as we're creating this what i want to do it is now apply some additional effect to this and we're going to the now um filter while well, we're going to image adjustment we'll go to black and white and i want to bring a little bit more greenness and texture inside so i'll go bring some details and because i'm going to use soft light with this contrast basis so i know everything that is above 50 percent gray it will be brighter and below it will be darker and this will be in contrast curve so it's what meaning it will um kind of give it lighting to some elements so it will enhance some of the contrasts so we'll go create okay on this one we'll go to adjustments shadow highlights i don't want that big curve i want to flatten this so just uh shadow highlights which allowed us a little bit make smoother not so dramatic changes and we'll bring all of those to 200 percent and with a tone we can bring this just slightly down so this will be darker and other elements will bring brighter and one more step on this one i want to do it's a filter sharpen on sharp mask i want to add even more details to this by bringing sharpness it says will increase our texture will look very good so now we can go to switch to soft light mode like right there and you can see before and after it does increase this enhance some greenness details we don't need this strong so we'll take a little bit down let's go now apply some coloring before apply coloring one thing i want to point to you we take the moon we increase in size and if we look closer you'll notice we have a different grain look how smooth here and this photo is not as smooth because it's pixelization and different greenness and that's what's happening when you work with compositing and you use different techniques even skin smoothing or something you will have it different um type of the greenness almost on different images the one of the best way to bring them together it's overlay another grain layer that will kind of create this effect of the um uniformity between them so and we'll create a gray layer um next we're going to filter noise we'll go to add noise to this and we'll just set 15 percent and we'll switch this to soft light so in this case when we're done let's go look closer you'll notice now look we have it right here before and after you see how smooth it was now this grain is going on all layers we don't need probably that much we'll just bring just a little bit but it is kind of fooling our eyes to tell the all uniformity and the grain so all these components help us to bring them kind of together also before this i want to do another thing so, you know i want to add a little bit more glowing so again Control shift command alt e creating a new layer uh, by merging all visible next we're going filter blur we go to garden blur on this and we'll just add a little bit blurring like this click ok and switch this to screen so we'll have it very bright notes this is will be our blowing glow lights let's go create again alt on a mask or option on the mask hiding we'll take a brush okay let's go leave it down 10 percent opacity and we'll just add a little bit glowing 
to some elements, you know what I mean? So we'll just add like on a wings a little bit glowing. It's almost like glowing around. Maybe glowing a little bit right here. Some craters. Create this apocalyptic glow. Some areas like almost right there as a sun going and you can see this effect of the glowing we'll go on the wings overlay there you go before and after so we'll just add even more effect like brightness behind okay now we can re-enable back our grain okay let's go next we'll create a selective color layer and we're going to start with the black so this are black and sometimes it's look very dark so you can actually kind of recover some of this black or flatten them by bringing closer depend on it what you want it and i found the will do shadowing will be cold and neutral or brighter will be warm that's what we're going to do so we'll add blue we'll add a little bit of green to create cyanish and move in cyan color next we'll create neutral and here's our neutral we can bring them a little bit maybe darker and we'll go opposite we'll go to the see yellow we're going to yellow just picture red oh sorry green and red because i want kind of almost fire red so we'll add this color let's go to our whites and this is our whites right there so we can actually bring them a little bit brighter and the same yellow and red so we'll just add this way let's go now look on the red color and this is our red you can see how darker and i want actually bring a bit darker to create a little bit more solid kind of almost cyanish and we can play a little bit with the coloring and i think yellowish right here magenta so we could also add yeah let's go a little bit more like blood type darker on this this is our yellow color and I think if we bring it down again here, yeah, let's go a little bit yellowish, uh, maybe blue, no, too cold, let's go warmer. And you can play around, see which one is worker. But as a post apocalyptic, I want to probably create a little bit more reddish kind of effect. So this is our overlay, this is our colors. Um, again, using a past, you can see how much of this you want applied. It will just maybe around 75 percent and i think this almost all one thing before this apply we can create new curves okay let's take this curve down like right there create vignetting take mark go over marquee so and fill inside with the 100 percent black okay go to our feathering and just bring feathering like right there so this is just extra vignetting we're applying and switch to soft light yeah, there you go so we'll just apply just a little bit vignetting because we lost with some selective color adjustments so and right here you can see with the coloring i think it's look kind of interesting we apply some of this greenery of course you can spend much more time to add a cloud add more smoke maybe around just you know just go like around this area and you know what maybe just add cloud like this creating one let's go select some fog for this and we'll go select maybe around yeah i think this will work zero yeah, let's create this color and we can just uh, you see we can add just a little bit more you can select different sampling and i can see we'll just add a little bit more okay and you can see we can add more so of course you can select different colors okay so we can add more you can see we can add a little bit more details to this um overall here's our image you know what we can at this point we can actually go ahead let's take all of this combine in one group retouching and here we have it before 
and after. So it's quite a bit change we're creating to our art. And of course, you can add more and more stuff to this just to create some additional effects proper. But I think this way kind of look very interesting. We did not do anything with the eyes. We could add like lights or something. But at this point, I think one hour is long enough for us to play around with a small compositing that we created. Again, I appreciate you was watching this video. Um, you can always support at the Patreon and as a supporter, you'll have access to very large collections of the presets, 3D models and additional resources and files. And anytime you can ask me if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you with it. And for the questions, you don't need to be Patreon support. You can just email to me. Um, yours also support on YouTube is greatly appreciated. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and put it some post note and review. So it's helped me in this way. Again, thank you very much and enjoy creating your new art.